Hello and welcome. To solve this logarithmic equation, we will start by simplifying the equation using two laws of indices. Now, the first law is a to the power m minus n is equal to a to the power m divided by a to the power n. And the second law is a to the power m plus n is equal to a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n. Now, when we apply this first law to this first term, it's obvious that a is equal to 2, m is equal to 2, and n is equal to log x. So we can write this in this form, that is 2 squared divided by 2 to the power log x. Now we have plus. Applying this second law to the second term, once more, a is equal to 2 m is equal to 2 and n is equal to log x. So we can also write this in this form, that is 2 squared multiplied by 2 to the power log x. And of course, this equation is still equal to 16. Now, since we have 2 to the power log x here and 2 to the power log x, let us do a substitution. So we have that 2 to the power log x is equal to the letter d. Now with this substitution, this equation is going to be 2 squared, which is 4, divided by d, plus 4 times d is equal to 16. And of course, to get rid of this fraction and straighten out the equation, we are going to multiply through this equation by d. Notice that here we have 4, 4, and 16, which is a multiple of 4. So also we will divide through the equation by 4. 4 over d multiplied by d over 4 is 1. 4d multiplied by d over 4. This is going to take care of this, leaving us with d times d, which is d squared. 16 multiplied by d over 4. 4 into itself is 1 into 16 is 4. 4 times d is 4d. Now, when we rearrange this equation, we have d squared minus 4d plus 1 is equal to 0. We cannot factorize this quadratic equation, so let us solve by completing the square method. Now, since the coefficient of d squared is already 1, the next step is to move this constant term over to the right-hand side of the equation. When we do that, we have d squared minus 4d is equal to minus 1. Now, the next step is to add the square of half the coefficient of d to both sides of the equation to complete the square on the left-hand side. Now, what is the coefficient of d? It is minus 4. What is half of minus 4? Minus 2. The square of that is minus 2 squared. So we are going to add minus 2 squared to both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Because, of course, whatever we do to the left-hand side, we must do to the right-hand side. So we have d squared minus 4d plus minus 2 squared is equal to minus 1 plus minus 2 squared. Now, notice that on the left-hand side of this equation, we have a perfect square. So you take 1d, and you take 1 minus 2, and you square both. Notice once more that when you open this bracket, this is exactly what you have. d squared. 2 times d times minus 2. That is minus 4d. And then minus 2 squared. And of course, on the right-hand side, you have minus 1 plus minus 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. And at this point, the last thing is to take square root of both sides of the equation. When we take square root of this left-hand side, we have d minus 2 because the square is going to take care of the square root. And this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. And of course, from here, we have that d is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 3, which means that 2 to the power log x 
is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. Now you can see that we have reduced this original equation to a much simpler equation. To solve this equation, since the unknown is in the exponent, we have to take log of both sides of the equation. So when we do that, we have log 2 to the power log x is equal to log 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. And of course, the next thing we are going to do will be to apply the power rule of logarithms to this left-hand side. That is the rule that says that we can bring down this exponent, the exponent of 2, to the front of the log term to become a multiplier. When we apply this rule, we have that log x multiplied by log 2 is equal to log 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. And of course, now we have to divide both sides of this equation by log 2. So we have that log x is equal to log 2 plus or minus the square root of 3 divided by log 2. Now, according to our change of base formula, we can write this as log to base 2 of 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. Also, remember that when we have a statement such as log to base a of b is equal to c, it simply means that a raised to the power c is equal to b. That is, a to the power c is equal to b. So this statement means that 10, because of course you know that when we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10, common logarithms. So 10 raised to this power is equal to x. So we have that x is equal to 10 to the power log to base 2 of 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. So finally, we have the two values of x that satisfy this equation. We have that x is equal to 10 to the power log to base 2 of 2 plus root 3. Or x is equal to 10 to the power log to base 2 of 2 minus root 3. And of course, using a calculator, we have that this is approximately equal to 79.43, while this is approximately equal to 0 0.0126. Now let us check our answer. On the left-hand side of this equation, we have 2 squared over 2 to the power log x plus 2 squared times 2 to the power log x. We have already found that 2 to the power log x is equal to 2 plus or minus root 3. So let us substitute into this. We have 4 over 2 plus or minus root 3 plus 4 times 2 plus or minus root 3. We are checking both values at the same time. Of course, this is over 1. Now, to combine these two fractions into one single unit, we have 4 times 1, that is 4, plus this times that, that is going to give us 4 times, you can see that this is exactly equal to this. So that is 2 plus or minus root 3 squared, divided by this times that, that is 2 plus or minus root 3. Now from here we have 4 plus 4 into 2 squared is 4. 2 times 2 times plus or minus root 3 is going to give us plus or minus 4 root 3. And plus or minus root 3 squared is going to give us plus 3. We still have 2 plus 
or minus root 3 in the denominator. Simplifying this, we have 4 plus 4 into 4 plus 3 is 7 plus or minus 4 root 3 divided by 2 plus or minus root 3. Now, when you look at this and look at this, you will see that we have 4 in both terms. So we can factorize. We have 4 into 4 divided by 4 is 1 plus 4 times 7 plus or minus 4 root 3 divided by 4. Of course, is 7 plus or minus 4 root 3. We still have 2 plus or minus root 3 in the denominator. And from here, we have 4 into 1 plus 7 is 8. Then you have plus or minus 4 root 3 over 2 plus or minus root 3. And of course, the last step is to rationalize. So we are going to multiply this by the conjugate of this. That is 2 minus plus root 3 over 2 minus plus root 3. In the numerator, we have 4 into 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times minus plus root 3 is minus plus 8 root 3. Now, plus or minus 4 root 3 times 2 is plus or minus 8 root 3. And plus or minus 4 root 3. Multiplied by minus plus root 3. Now, plus times minus, of course, is minus. And minus times plus is minus. So we have minus in both cases. Now, we have 4. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. Minus 4 times 3 is equal to minus 12. So here we have minus 12. Now, in the denominator, since this and this are conjugates, then we are going to get the difference of two squares. So that is 2 squared, which is 4, minus root 3 squared, which is 3. Now, from here, we have 4. That is this. Look at this. We have minus plus 8 root 3 plus or minus 8 root 3. This simply means that when we have minus, this is plus. And when we have plus, this is minus. So this is the opposite of that. So they cancel themselves, leaving us with 16 minus 12, which is equal to 4. Now, in the denominator, we have 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So you can see that the left-hand side of this equation, when 2 to power log x is equal to 2 plus or minus root 3, is equal to the right-hand side of this equation, which is 16. So it simply means that the values that we calculated are right. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.